watch on live television. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And the fact that 600 million people around the world were either watching or listening on radio and TV as it happened is a measure of the impact that this thing had on the world's consciousness. The surface, as, as we said, uh, was, was fine-grained with lots of rocks in it. It took footprints very well, and the footprints stayed in place. Uh, the, uh, the limb was in, in good shape and uh, it, it exhibited no damage from uh, the landing or the descent. It's a picture of the ladder with the uh, well-known plaque. Here, man, from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon, July 1969, AD. We came in peace for all mankind. After the, the flight of Apollo 11, uh, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and I had an around the world tour and uh, every place we went, I, I thought they'd in some places have the attitude of, oh, well, you Americans finally did this. Not at all, they, uh, the, the attitude Every country, uh, regardless of their internal politics, uh, they all said, we did it, we humans. Everything before July 20th, 1969, humans only had experience on one planetary body. From that moment on, we were, at least in some measure, a multi-planetary species. When Neil and Buzz uh, walked on the moon, uh, they did it, of course, without weapons. The only thing they brought was cameras. So it was a very, it was a, a peaceful, uh, enterprise and one that was applauded uh, worldwide. 